Okay, last week we discussed the, the FLIR camera and which, which we used to actually rectify the, the mistake or the fault that they exist with the Leopard 45 roof. And we also discussed some appliances and what we're going to use on the boat. Um, and yeah, so this week. Yeah, this week we've got the off well enclosures, the curtain shading, that type of thing, underfloor storage, um, the aft and um, front cockpits, the cushions that we've got there, and we've got the barbecue. We looked at the options of the leopard, and as you noticed, we did not actually select the leopard. Um, 45 the option for the enclosures there's a dodger right the dodger so we did not select the dodger and we did select the, the covers now the, the shade, shade covers. the shade curtains we selected with them yes the shade curtains is when you look at the um, coach roof the shade curtains actually attach just underneath it and it goes to both sides and at the back so you can actually let it like go outside so depending on where the wind uh, the sun comes from or you can just let it hang straight down but it's completely and utterly purely shade that's all it's all about so it's not weather resistant and so the wind can actually blow in yeah. right yeah that is purely just for shade so we we're we talking about dodges we need to dodge it dodge a few motorbikes now <laughs> and so mud tools as well i hope we can dodge all of them not sure which side of the road would be the safest, maybe this side. Yeah, there's a big donga that side. Yeah, so the, the, the shade curtains is like your, your shade net, that's the material it's made of. And what we've decided to go for aftermarket is the complete enclosure. So the whole aft cockpit is exactly where the shade curtains come out. You've got the full enclosure made of canvas and like a thick plastic. And it's got zip, so you can zip open. You've got doorways that leads in, but it encloses completely. And then we've taken it up to the helm as well, which is actually custom-made the helm enclosure, but it looks exactly like the aft. So it's also canvas and, and the thick plastic, which is completely no wind, no weather, no rain, no, hopefully, no big waves. <laughs> so Are you out of breath? <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely out of breath. Ducking and diving. Yeah, so it's, it's nice and enclosed. There's no wind coming. There's no waves coming, hopefully. And it, it forms a unity um, from the helm station to the off cockpit. So why did we select the, the covers? Um, you may ask. And the reason is that if you if you at sea um, underway, uh, the wind and the sea and everything is just it's just crazy. So I've seen many times people with the monohulls, they battle. They actually, when the wind is coming up, it is very cold uh, because there's just not enough protection. So we would like the full protection and that protection will be the, the full alum enclosure as well as the full cockpit, off cockpit, cockpit enclosure. But at the same time, we will use the shades. If we don't want to get too stuffy, then we will use the shade covers just to create a shade. Um, then you just and roll up can the still, yeah. Yeah. And then you just roll up the, the permanent enclosure. Do they the, roll up or do, do they hook off? I, I think, think you they can, clip off or zip can, off, right? Yeah, you can zip them off and the others can roll up. The actual shade net rolls up. So you can just cut them in again. So it's easy to come down. And while we're there, between your saloon and the off cockpit, you've got the sliding door. So what we've also decided while we're at the curtaining and stuff is to make a custom made oh. line. You'll see in the picture that we're going to put on the screen as well. Um, so obviously you've got the window and then the sliding door. So we're all just all going to be making that. So you just cut it to that size and you just stick it on the Velcro. So if you don't need it, you can just take it all, fold it away and just put it away. So on the pillows, um, yeah, the pillows cost something like $2,000, so besides that it's more cheaper. Why did we select the pillows? Um, 
Why? The cushions, uh, yeah, well, the cushions. Then well. I think you English people call yeah. it cushions. Yeah, the aftermarket, because what we want is we want a, 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 high, a higher density foam, I think, eh? Yes. Um, the whole idea is to go for um, what they call a 50-50 closed foam, say on the outer layers, bottom and top, and then your center layer do like an 80-20 closed foam. So it's nice to the feel, it's nice and soft when you go sit down. But you don't sit all the way through, so it's nice and, and, and sturdy as well. You have the 80-20 the in the middle. And you can always turn it around so it'll last for quite a while. So you're going anything. to make it different colors maybe? On a, so one day if we're in a bad mood, we have the red ones <laughs> up. And if we're in a good doing, mood, we have the I'm green ones up. <laughs> So we'll if, we had war, <laughs> if we had war, then we have different colors. <laughs> Let's start uh, by looking at uh, what is commonly referred to as closed cell or flotation foam. In front of me I have two small samples of that foam. And this is a PVC nitrile foam. Um, it will not allow water to run through. Uh, it's completely closed to the cell structure is, which is why they call it closed cell foam. Uh, Sailrite offers it in a one and a half inch thickness and in a half inch thickness. Uh, this foam would be appropriate for uh, areas like cockpit cushions on boats where you might want your, your uh, cushions to float uh, uh, to be used as a safety device. Um, it's also very firm, so if you want firm seating, uh, this is a great way to go. It's ideal for outdoor applications because it does not absorb water and as a result you can cover it with just about anything. So you may be asking why offer a half inch um, and uh, before I talk about that let me just say one and a half inch we find to be ideal for cockpit cushions. Uh, half inch obviously would not be ideal by itself for, uh, well I can't think of any applications where I would really recommend it by itself, but say you wanted to take another foam of a different type that we'll be talking about here shortly and you wanted to stiffen it a little bit or thicken it a little bit you can take the half inch and you can actually bond the half inch or even the, the one and a half inch to additional layers of foam in order to make thicker assemblies and to change the firmness of the assembly that you are are producing. Okay so at one point we uh, we need to duck and dive, so you guys need to warn us if there's a car behind us. <laughs> like that one. <laughs> um, now there's a car coming, so I think it's going to be very tough at one point. And the scooters actually crash into you, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, hopefully they will not, if they see we are tourists on body. Because 10,000 people will still see this. <laughs> hopefully a million people will see this. <laughs> Okay, so about the storage, um, I think you guys have noticed under the Leopard 45, under the floors, there's a lot of storage. And some of them, some of them is actually quite nice and flat. And then there's others that you actually need the water or the, the, the bulk water, what do you call it? The boat pump. The boat. So you need the boat to actually run, and the floor must actually. Um, the water must be able to run there or I don't think collect there. No, but you, you don't, don't want your food to be in the same water. So we need to actually then do something about that. Okay, here's a short video clip that um, I got on Facebook. Thank you, Paul, for sharing this on the owner's Leopard 45 owner's face Facebook page. This is the underfloor storage in front of the aft cabin that um, Paul had this obviously brilliant brainwave to do is he's placed these huge storage bins on, under the floor and um, he's just made use of like wooden uh, rails or sliders I don't know what you want to call it basically to, to hold the bins and to, to slide it up and down with a swell on top of those sliders so I just think this is like super, super, super used space. They actually, the top layer actually slides in underneath the floorboards, which gives you access to the bottom layer. So by just sliding it or taking it out, 
you can reach down to the bottom layers and you can even take that one out as well so um, now I'll just check closely just to recap quickly so you simply slide them to one side there you go and he slides the other one as well and then you reach the bottom so in total it, it's two layers with five bins which is I think a brilliant invention The one that you were talking about were the braai. Yeah, that's the last thing, our, our barbecue. Um, obviously being South Africans, as you all know by now, we're very set on our braais and what we actually love doing is braying with wood. So one of the people, um, one of the subscribers commented on one of our videos, previous videos, apparently in the stainless steel gas braai you get, you get a gas plate with two handles on. So you can insert that so it goes over the gas and then you can make your fire on top of that whether it's cold or, or wood or whatever obviously once you've moved and then you can just take it out again and go clean it and I just thought that was brilliant so we can actually sit down with a flame and have a glass of red wine true South African style yeah. so we're going to absolutely look into that one to have a plate made for the, for the gas It right. will only be when there's no wind, no <laughs> waves <laughs> I cannot imagine and having an open these, flame. With all these shades and stuff that we've just spoken about, surely we could just block off some wood. We, we will be able to have a break. That's it. So next week? Safety and security. So next week we're going to do safety and security. And it's about the, the ra life raft, where we're going to put the life raft, um, and what life raft it is, and then all the flares and the radios and, and a dinghy. And and a dinghy. Oh, we, we had a nice surprise for the dinghy. <laughs> the naming of the dinghy, dinghy or oh, the name nice. of the dinghy. Yeah. It's not, still not named yet. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the name of the dinghy will also be yes, so revealed. Next week. See that's it for then. next week. It is time for you to get out of that full screen and hit that red subscribe button if you have not done that it is free also next to the subscribe button there's a little bell button which you can click which is also free this will notify you when we release a new video then if you like the video you can go over to our like button and then click that one too it is free as well then if you want to follow our social media um, in real time you can go over to facebook and you can like the page as well so you will be notified there that's also free then if you want to look at all the nice pictures that pietro is taking and she's becoming quite a photographer go over to instagram and like the photos there that is also free which is not free is that if you like our information that we give you if you think we contributed something to to your knowledge or that we entertain you or that yeah, well, you just liked us. You can go over to the Patreon site and you can tip us over there. Thank you very much for our subscribers. And a very big thank you for all the Patreons that's already thinking that we're contributing something to their lives. Thank you very much. See you next week.